no big surprise here, Cory Booker, a.k.a. Spartacus, announces he is running for president. Articles posted by CNN, written by Rebecca Buck, B-U-C-K, put up on the 1st of February. There's an embedded video. Senator Cory Booker, a New Jersey Democrat who rose to prominence as Newark's charismatic and ambitious mayor, announced Friday that he is running for president. Should be an interesting lineup, huh? Of clowns. Wonder if they're going to sell tickets. Booker chose the first day of Black History Month to launch his campaign, timing that nods to Booker's own heritage, and suggests he will put it at the center of his pitch to voters. We already had one of those in the White House, didn't we? Well, we had a mulatto in the White House. How'd that work out for us, huh? The history of our nation is defined by collective action, by interwoven destinies of slaves and abolitionists, of those born here, and those who chose America as home. They didn't even choose America, they came on slave ships. And those who took up arms to defend our country, and those who linked arms to challenge and change it. Booker narratives in a video released on Friday morning, which features him walking through his Newark neighborhood. Hmm. Quote, I'm Cory Booker, and I'm running for President of the United States, he says in the video. Booker joins a crowd of growing Democrats feel that is already the most diverse in history, with multiple women, one gay candidate, a Latino, with Booker now in a mix, two black candidates. There's speculation that Booker's also a whole lot like Obama. You know, he's like one of those. His announcement comes nearly a year to the day from the Iowa caucus in the start of the primary calendar. Booker plans to head to Iowa February the 8th and 9th and then to South Carolina on February the 10th. He also intends to visit New Hampshire over President's Day weekend. Where do these guys or gals get all this money to travel all over the place? Or are we just paying for it, huh? Booker is one of several senators running for president or seriously considering it. At 49, he is the youngest among his Senate colleagues in a race. His age is not all that sets him apart. Booker is unmarried and vegan, two unique qualities among the emerging democratic field. How does that make that equality, huh? Because huh? he likes cabbage? And because he's, you know, one of those. In his announcement on video, Booker also notes that he is the only senator who goes home to a low-income inner-city community in Newark. The first community that took a chance on me. You mean not like Maxine Waters who goes to her multi-million dollar home outside of her district? Huh? In the Senate, Booker has at times favored a pragmatic approach, tearing up with like-minded Republicans on issues like criminal justice, but he has also emerged as a passionate integrator of President Donald Trump's nominees, including Justice Brett Kavanaugh, at whose confirmation hearing Booker memorial loaded in a hated Spartacus moment. Public polling suggests Booker is unknown to many Americans, but in a field where there is no clear front runner, he brings a raw political talent that some Democrats believe could set him apart and make him a powerful contender. The campaign message of Booker, who's a gifted creator of the stump, will center on a signature theme of finding common purpose and of bringing about a revival of civic grace in American society, drawing a stark, if implicit, contrast with President Donald Trump's harsh rhetoric. You want to sort of read the rest of the article. It's uh, fairly lengthy. It's uh, entertaining. This guy's got as much chance of becoming president as Buddy, or maybe Jackson. The guy's a complete 
joke. Absolute joke. Take a look at it. Watch the embedded clips. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Repost it in all your social media accounts. This is nothing but going to be a very entertaining democratic presidential race. The more, the merrier. Thanks for listening.